Sevettijärvi is the main center for all the Sami people belonging to the Skolt Sami group. The Skolt Sami were the indigenous people of the Kola Peninsula and the northeastern parts of Finland and Norway. In the aftermath of Finland's loss of Petsamo to Russia, many Skolt Sami families were evacuated to the Finnish side of the new border. Skolt Sami from Suoni village were given houses here in Sevettijärvi, but it was not entirely smooth to come here as a refugee during that time either. The echoes of debates over refugees then reverberate eerily in the contemporary discourse. According to a survey conducted by the Norwegian Sami parliament in 2021, there were 7,000 Skolt Sami in Finland, 500 in Russia and 400 in Norway. However, others have come up with much lower figures regarding the Skolt Sami in Finland because it can be challenging to precisely define who should be considered Sami. This is a problem that the Sami parliament and the Finnish government are currently grappling with. In any case, there should be no more than 300 people speaking Skolt Sami in Finland and a dozen or so in Norway and Russia. The preservation of the Skolt Sami language faces an uphill battle, as forming families where both parents speak it becomes increasingly difficult and gradually Finnish naturally takes over more and more. Several Sami languages have already disappeared. Kemi Sami in Finland died out centuries ago, and the last person who spoke fluent Akkala Sami on the Kola Peninsula in Russia fell silent in 2003. The language often skips a generation, compelling today's youth to turn to their grandparents. As their parents, burdened by societal pressures, shed their linguistic heritage. In Sevettijärvi, there is a Skolt Sami museum, a cultural center, and the only school where some of the on-site teaching is conducted in Skolt Sami. The school has 23 students, distributed across grades 0 to 9, and the students with the longest school commute has almost 50 kilometers. I noticed that the school was open today, but the museum area and cultural center were closed for the winter. Some of the distinctive features of the Skolt Sami are the headgear worn by women, indicating their marital status, the use of beads in costume decorations, the language, and their affiliation with the Orthodox Church. Here in Sevettijärvi, just like in Nellim, where many Skolt Sami also live, there is an Orthodox Church dedicated to Trifon of Petsamo. In the cemetery, there is a memorial stone for the Skolt Sami who fell for the Finnish homeland during World War II. The Russian names, of course, resulted in suspicion and derogatory opinions after the war. Even though there are not many who speak Skolt Sami, there are still some who persevere and have not given up. The first Skolt Sami feature film, Yevida by Gatja Gaurilov, premiered at Tribeca's International Narrative Competition in 2023. And as a conclusion, I thought we could listen to a song by Tina Sanila in Skolt Sami, Reindeer Man Reggae. Click on the link and open it in a new window so you can listen to it while we travel on the road to Sevettijärvi.